Kravis asks, how would I use Excel teams or forms or a combination to create online sign-up spreadsheets? I'd like to have an online document where students can type their first name, last name, and other column for details of whatever they're signing up for. They should be able to, to edit so that they can add their info in one row and not be able to delete what other students write. I want them to be able to see what other students write because I usually ask that they all choose a different topic date for the presentations. I know I could set up a survey with forms where they can tell me their info, then I can download a spreadsheet of answers, but then they can't see what others have written. Thoughts for Travis? There's definitely going to have to be some sort of automation that's outside of forms, whether, yeah. I mean, and I, I see there's some Power Apps comments in here. Um, the only thing to remember is like, so for example, for students, um, as long as they have a student account in the tenant, then they could use something like Power Apps or they could use a SharePoint list or they could use like a forms um, solution that was power automated to then dump it in a SharePoint list where they can manage it. There's all kinds of options. But the big thing to remember is if these are students that do not have a login to a tenant, so they don't have a license, um, then it's going to be a very different discussion. At that point, I might suggest like a SharePoint list with external access to guests, and then they could simply see that list. And on the back end of the list, you can actually say um, where they can only um, edit their own items, and there's some ways to do that. Um, but if they want to see everything, yeah, Power Apps, if they have access and licensing, probably is going to be um, the nicest option. Kind of like a kiosk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, again, the advanced settings in your SharePoint list and libraries for the win, yes. yeah. being able to only edit and see the items that you've submitted and not be able to change the ones that other ones have. But yeah, I um, this is a common question to the point where I wrote a course on how to create a um, Microsoft form, map it to a SharePoint library or list, and then um, use Power Automate to connect the two. But it's it, not for the faint of heart, but it's not. Horrible. Christian would call this an opportunity. <laughs> opportunity. It is an opportunity. Well, that's what Sherry just did. She just yeah. shielded her own training courses, which is fantastic. That's, yeah. but uh, you know, we've I mean, actually worst answered case, like worst a case, version. old school, yeah. old, old school is Excel. And here's the user ID, and they can Heck only yeah. access that cell to put, I mean, really old school, depending on their skill Lock sets. Lock it down. Yeah, that's it. You know, that's another potential way. It depends on how simple you really want to go and their skill sets. Because if it's if a power app is too much and trying to connect it all together, come back to just some very simple basics. Well, we've we've talked about what I was going to bring up. is like we we've answered variations on this. Of this question where people want to be able to you know uh, uh only allow people to edit their own and we, we've talked about lists and we've talked about uh you know building views creating views for each of those things and there's a yeah. number of different ways you want to depending on i think that the core somebody just said it too they depending on the licenses depending on what they have access to to go and do because you can create a power app where they get very limited in what they actually have and are required to go and do they get input and then see the whole table but if they want to be able to edit, if they want to be able to see and do other things like and have more control, again, it depends on the permissions, which products they have access to, what solution you'd actually go and develop. Yeah. And what third party apps they might have that they could pull as well, because there are other apps that will do it out there as a solution. It just, you know, not necessarily a simplistic answer, you know, inside the 365, but that's not to say that there's not something else that they could draw from. Not that I can think any of offhand. <laughs> I can probably find out. Okay, we go into the, uh, we've got the Microsoft for Education, for example, going to the Microsoft for Education forum on Facebook. And I know that these things come up um, regular. Should have had a, should have had a bit of a look before I, uh, before that question actually came up. But there's usually, there's usually so many different ways to do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's not just you. People think no. they answer these yeah. questions and 99% of the time it's not just them. Thank you.